Joan, and this is my row. Welcome back to Vatican City. As you can see, we're standing in front of the Paul VI Hall. It was dedicated by Paul VI in 1971, and it was then named the Aula Nervi, named for, of course, the architect designer. After the Pope died, the hall was given his name. It seats about 7,500 people, but they can expand that to nine or 10,000 people. And it's generally used for weekly general audiences when the weather isn't clement and people cannot go outside in St. Peter's Square. There are also many offices and a smaller auditorium in the hall, which are used for the Synod of Bishops and other gatherings. The most amazing part of the whole hall, once you go into the part where the audience is held, is a 20 meter wide bronze sculpture of the resurrection of the risen Christ. Can't help but capture your attention. Now the Vatican is going green. And in September of 2008, they began installing solar panels on the roof. The roof needed repairing anyway. So they installed solar panels on the roof, 2,700 of them, to provide 300 kilowatt hours to heat and cool and air condition the hall. And I hope when you're in Rome, if you're here for a concert or a papal audience, you can visit the Paul VI Hall. For more insights into the daily life here in Rome, check out my daily blog, Jones Rome, on EWTN.com.